really a place where you only have to worry about the amount of cheese that is on your pizza. You wouldn't think about it becoming a health scare for you and your family. Papa John's, like the one behind me in a Charlotte area, has had an outbreak of the hepatitis A virus. A virus broke out when one of the managers of a former Papa John's location was infected with the disease while he was out of the country. He came back not knowing that he had it and well, worse came to worse and the virus began to spread to customers and other workers. The Papa John's has not yet released a statement on the issue, but the Center for Disease Control said that anyone who had ate at Papa John's between March and the beginning of April should see their local physician. If you feel like you have been contracted or have had funny symptoms since you've eaten at a Papa John's location, you are advised to visit the one in the location of the Papa John's because they will be giving out free hepatitis A virus vaccines to those affected with the virus. And it is said that approximately a little over 2,000 patrons have been infected or may have come in contact with the virus since the later end of March and the beginning of April. Papa John's, however, has taken many precautions since the outbreak. The manager who was infected at first has not been allowed to work and they closed early Wednesday night so that they could clean and sanitize the restaurant from top to bottom. And no workers who have come in contact with the infected manager or with other patrons who may have had it have been allowed to work since then. Only workers that were not in contact with that manager have been allowed to work since then. And back to you, Gwen.